Hey everyone, it's Dr. Dave. Today I want to go over the, the disorders of fructose metabolism. So to understand the disorders of fructose metabolism, we're going to have to understand fructose metabolism. It's very short and easy. Uh, we'll talk about the, um, the two disorders that are important, the clinical vignette that you'll most likely encounter, and um, some, you know, some key words that'll, that'll make you think uh, disorders of fructose metabolism. So first, let's go over fructose. Let's start with fructose. And where does fructose come from? Fructose comes from sucrose, which breaks down into fructose and glucose. So you can either get fructose from eating just the monomer fructose or from ingesting sucrose, which will break down into fructose and glucose. So once you eat fructose, um, uh, the major place where it's going to go is the liver, and that's important to know. So fructose will go to the liver. Fructose, once it reaches the liver, will encounter two enzymes. The first enzyme is fructokinase, which will add a phosphate. So we know that it'll use ATP. It'll add a, a phosphate to fructose to make it fructose 1-phosphate. So in the cell, it'll be fructose 1-phosphate, and it will encounter a second enzyme, which is aldolase B. Aldolase B, the second important enzyme, probably the most important enzyme of the two. So once it encounters aldolase B, it'll then be um, broken down to the metabolites DHAP and glyceraldehyde, which will eventually go in the glycolysis. So that's the, that's the pathway of fructose. That's fructose metabolism. So two disorders that can come about from this is either a central fructoseuria or two fructose intolerance. So if you have a central fructoseuria, um, basically you have a deficiency, you're deficient in fructokinase. So if you're deficient in fructokinase, um, you really you're not going to have too many symptoms. You're going to be pretty much benign. But the one thing that you want to look out for uh, in a question um, is going to be basically you have a you have a you have an infant. Um, it's very normal. You run some tests and you just you find out that it's just uh, the infant is secreting a large amount of fructose in its urine. Uh, but other than that, the baby is healthy. He's fine. You're going to think, okay, he's got essential fructose urea. He's um, deficient in fructokinase. Boom. Answer. Got one right. So a second clinical vignette that you can have, though, is that the baby is not healthy. It's very sick. Um, you, it has jaundice. Um, it's vomiting. You run some tests. You see that it's hypoglycemic. Um, and you're going to start to think, okay, this is an essential fructose urea. This is quite possibly fructose intolerance. And when you're fructose intolerant, you have a deficiency in aldolase B. So important to know that, aldolase B. So what happens, um, basically fructose 1-phosphate is going to build up in the cells when you don't have aldolase B to break it down to the metabolites, DHAP and glyceraldehyde. So fructose 1-phosphate builds up in the cells in the liver, where we said it's going to go, the liver. And it's going to cause jaundice, it's going to cause cirrhosis, um, your baby's going to vomit. Um, and also it's going to cause hypo hypoglycemia. So it's important to note that when the fructose 1-phosphate is trapped in the cells, it's going to, going to uh, decrease the, evalu the available phosphate, which is going to inhibit uh, glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis. So you'll have hypoglycemia. So that's basically all you need to know. Um, know that fructose, so let's go over the important points again. Fructose comes from sucrose, which is broken into fructose and glucose, goes to the liver, um, it's going to encounter fructokinase, the first enzyme, which will turn it into fructose 1-phosphate. In the cell, aldolase B will turn that into DHAP and glyceraldehyde, which will go to um, glycolysis. And two disorders can happen when you have a deficiency in either of the two enzymes. If you're deficient in fructokinase, you're going to have essential fructose urea. Um, you're going to have the, the infant is going to be healthy, but it's just going to be secreting a lot of fructose in the urine. Um, or you can be deficient in aldolase B, that which is fructose intolerance. Uh, the infant is going to be very sick. He's going to be jaundice, cirrhosis, vomiting. He's going to be hypoglycemic. And 
you're going to get these right on the test. <laughs> so anyway, that's the disorders of fructose metabolism. I'm Dr. Dave. Thank you for tuning in.